I am sure all of you are familiar with the traffic signals. Red means to stop, orange means to get ready and green means to go. Now one day Mr. Datta was driving, he found the signal green, so he drove past the signal and got hit by another car. He came out of the car and started arguing with the other driver. He accused him of driving while the signal was still red. But the other driver did not listen to him. He said that his signal was green, but Mr. Datta's signal was red. So he failed the signal. Now, if you can see color written on the board, then you have healthy eyes. But if you cannot read the writing on the board, then you are suffering from the same problem that Mr. Datta was suffering from. Mr. Datta was color blind. He could not recognize the red color. So when the traffic light was red, signaling the cars to stop, he saw it as green. Even when the traffic light was green, signaling the cars to move, he saw it as green. So Mr. Datta could not differentiate between the red color and the green color of the signal. So he was red-green colorblind. This is in Victoria's family. We've seen that in Victoria's family, there were many men who suffered from a rare genetic condition known as hemophilia. Now, hemophilia is a genetic disease and it gets carried forward or it gets inherited to the next generation because of the X chromosome. Similarly, red-green color blindness is also a genetic disease and it is inherited from the X chromosome. Now see, Mr. Datta had red-green color blindness. His mother was a carrier for the disease. So the, the red-green color blind gene came from his mother and the Y chromosome came from his father. And that is how he became diseased. Now, what is the chance of Mr. Datta's mother getting this affected gene from her father or her mother? Well, it might have come from either of her parents. See, if her father was affected, then the X chromosome from the father came to her and the healthy chromosome from the mother came to her and that caused her to be a carrier of the disease. Similarly, it might have also happened that the carrier, the affected gene, she might have inherited from her mother who was also a carrier. And the other healthy gene was uh, inherited from the father. So there are 50% of chances for Mr. Datta's mother inheriting this diseased chromosome. Now let me tell you that Mr. Datta's grandfather was colorblind. So that is how her, his mother became a carrier for colorblindness. Now what is the chance of Mr. Datta's daughter being a carrier for the disease? Well, yes, she has 100% chances of being a carrier. Irrespective of whether Mr. Datta's wife is a carrier or if she is normal, this diseased X chromosome will pass on to his daughter and that is how she will be a carrier always. Now see, the affected X chromosome can pass in two ways. It can pass from the affected father to the daughter and it can also pass from the courier mother to the affected son, thus forming a zigzag pattern. And so this form of inheritance is known as 
క్రిస్ క్రాస్ ఇన్హెరిటెన్స్